For the last video of October, today we are going to be watching the raved upon movie, The Substance. Today's video is sponsored by Pi. Pi is an extension that you can download to your browser or a mobile app that you can download straight to your phone. So when you get those pop-up ads, Pi basically allows you to block those pop-up ads. I know I use it very regularly because I'm using my laptop 24 seven. I can't be, I can't be watching ads all the time. But if you do wanna see ads and do wanna watch ads, which you're probably thinking to yourself, Trin, why would I want to watch ads or see ads? Well, hold your horses because I might convince you right now, you guys can actually get rewarded by using Pi and opting in to seeing ads and gaining rewards for that. So when you're watching a YouTube video like mine and you're sitting there and you're thinking, I hate Trin because I have to watch this ad, there will be a little pop-up on the video that says you are earning rewards for watching this ad. This doesn't take away from my commission that I also get from ad revenue. So it's a win-win scenario. You get your rewards for watching the ads and I also get my revenue for the ads being played. So this means you can support your favorite creators while also earning some money. There's also Pi Shopping, which is an automatic couponing feature. This means that you can shop like you're normally doing and Pi will automatically apply coupons to your cart at checkout with no fuss. You don't have to enter any coupon codes. You don't have to go scouring for coupons. It's as easy as that without even thinking you're saving money. This is a great feature, especially with holidays coming around right around the corner. Everybody's gonna be doing online shopping. Specifically me, I'm doing online shopping for holidays right now. And with Pi, I'm able to save money without even thinking about it. Pi works on over 10,000 different stores. So this means that you are definitely gonna find a store that is applicable to buy and buy is gonna find you coupons and save you money. And you're only a few simple clicks away from being able to do this. Add it to your browser or download it to your phone right now. So make sure you guys go to pi.org slash trin to download Pi today, add it to your extension, add it to your Chrome browser, or you can download it to your mobile device right now and start using Pi. Thank you Pi for sponsoring today's video. Without further ado, Let's get started. I have been wanting to watch this movie for so long. I wanted to see it in theaters, but at a certain point I was like, this needs to be saved for a video because I just cannot sit by and not watch this on camera from the way that people are talking about it. When people say body horror, I say, oh, oh, this is something that I need to sit down and watch with the girls. When people say, um, commentary on ageism, um, body modification, when people say um, commentary on beauty standards and society. And I, I just, I needed to sit down and watch with some of my girls. Like, could I have gone to the movie theater that's walking distance from my apartment and watched it for 50% off because I have a coupon? Yes, I could have. Yes, I could have. But no, I wanted to sit down and watch it with you guys. And I thought this would be the perfect movie to end October because it's kind of horror-esque. I would say from what people have said, it's horrifying, but I don't know. I'm a changed person and I just watched The Terrifier. So who am I to say what's scary anymore? Did I accidentally download a slime video? I'm down for it. I'm down to watch a slime video. Is it gonna turn back into a chicken? Oh. Oh! So green juice makes you a duplicate? This movie also stars Margaret Qualley and Demi Moore. Very excited. I love Margaret Qualley. I literally fell in love with her after the Netflix series made. That is literally one of my favorite shows ever. I just recently rewatched it again. If you haven't seen that show, please go watch it. And all of Margaret Qualley's smaller roles I've also liked. I like her role in Poor Things as well. I think she's like, Team. <laughs> I think she's like actually T. So I'm excited to watch her in a leading role that's a little bit more like outlandish than Maid was. Maid was like obviously a contemporary story, a real life story based on a real person. So it's kind of a little bit more grounded. Um, and it was amazing and I loved it. But this seems very much more out there and uh, campy. So I'm kind of excited to see her in a role like this. Can I get something to eat? Yeah, get a pretzel or something. Oh my God, they hate her. Oh my God, they used to love her, now they hate her. I'm sick. It's snowing? It's snowing in Hollywood? That seems unlikely. But we're trying to, we're trying to showcase time passing. I love an entrance sequence like that. Like I love something that's so simple. It's one shot, 
one frame. So simple, but so efficient, so effective. You got it. Oh my God, she's stunning. She's stunning. Sparkle your life with Elizabeth. I like, I cannot believe she looks like that. There's some people that you just cannot believe look like that. And Demi Moore is one of them. But you can't even say that she doesn't look like it because she does. Like her body is so T right now. Like seeing her from the side, I'm like, how does your body still look like that? Like, <laughs> you're pissing me off. You're actually pissing me off because I'm at the prime age and my body doesn't look like that. I'm at the age that they're basically being like, she's, she's admiring to be like, and I don't look like that. No, no. Oh, Oscar winner, my ass. When was that? Back in the 30s? What? For King Kong? <laughs> if you couldn't make me hate Dennis Quaid more. Find me somebody new. Of course he plays the most unlikable person. <laughs> of course he plays the most unlikable person. Fuck Dennis Quaid. Now. And back up a bit. Like, why is he so close to me? Back up. I think the original person that was supposed to play him was Ray Liotta, but Ray Liotta passed before they started filming. So then they got Dennis Quaid. People just love that. Ew. <laughs> Oh my God. I'm not even someone that's really bothered by like food scenes like that, but this is like, I'm glad I didn't eat before this. Oh my God. Did she actually film that? Did they actually do that? I'm scared. Oh, hey, it's your birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Who was the scary boy? One moment. Oh, uh. There's just one last exam to perform. His foundation is like so laid. <laughs> like it's flawless. <laughs> Looks stunning. I wish you the best. I feel like he's gonna be evil. Oh my God. Oh my God, he's an old man. He's an old man. And that's why he had that spot because it's like, Old men have that. Like, no offense to them, like, love them. But, like, that's, like, you can't change the hands. You know how they say that? Whenever you get plastic surgery, they're, like, you can't change the neck or the hands. You can tell by those if someone's had work done. Because hands age and neck age. Oh, I, of, of course. I'm stupid. You're, you're super busy. But you know what? Why, why don't you give me your card? I mean, you never know. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> you're joking. Now you've got it. <laughs> You're fucking joking. Um, I hate you. Don't ever talk to me again. This is simply a better version of yourself. You just have to share. One week for one, and one week for the other. You are one. You can't escape from yourself. But you're like not. <laughs> like, I don't want to see a version of myself looking hot. I want to look hot. I want me to look hot. I want to look in the mirror and see hotness, not someone else do that and be hot. I am hot. <laughs> Guys, we are hot. We don't need the substance. Would you take it? Be honest. At that point, if you're just making a clone of your DNA, then just have a baby. Is that offensive to say? And all no contact, by the way, what a brilliant system. You don't have to interact with anyone. No one has to know who you are. I'm, that's brilliant. I don't think anything that color should be injected into yourself. I'll be honest. I literally know exact, right when I said that, I know someone's gonna come in and be like, Aki, there's a thing that we actually inject at Better Go School that looks just like it. I'm sorry, I didn't go to med school. Do you have to keep ordering the food? And you have to do it yourself. Yeah, if you have to do it yourself, it seems a bit concerning. The least, and the least bit concerning. That's foul. That's actually so foul. Ew, 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 ew. What? Guys. Guys, what am I watching? Oh my God. I'm gonna start showing this to people and being like, this is what childbirth is. This is actually what happens when you birth a baby. Ew, the goo. I mean, how would there not be goo, but still the goo. So 
So that's her consciousness. That's Elizabeth's consciousness. That's not this person's consciousness. Imagine your body being so tea, you get to be the substance version. Like that's goals. We, in, in a sense, we are all someone's substance version. So I'm so confused how it works. Is it, I'm assuming it's her consciousness right now. And then they switch, right? So the other consciousness, I don't know. I'm like so confused. Now, what the hell is that? Into the open wound? Is that her bone marrow? So it's not a subscription service. You just harvest it immediately from the source. <laughs> This is such a silent movie. I feel like I'm talking so fucking much because they're just like not talking. But correct me if I'm wrong. That is, that is Elizabeth's consciousness. I can't fucking believe that Jack Antonoff gets to be with Margaret Qualley. That's so fucking stupid. <laughs> That's so annoying. I hate that. I hate the knowledge that I have that she's with Jack Antonoff. She's married to Jack Antonoff. No offense to Jack Antonoff. Actually, you know what? A little bit offense to Jack Antonoff. I don't know. He just bothers me. There's no reason. I don't have any valid reasons for my opinions on Jack Antonoff. <laughs> they made her look like a fucking Barbie. They oiled her up. She looks like a fucking Barbie. So they're, okay, okay. I'm getting it. So, she, oh my God, she's stunning. She is stunning. And it's like, now I'm missing the point because now I'm just looking at how stunning she is. Like now I'm missing the point of the movie. So she is Sue for seven days and then she's Elizabeth for seven days. So it's the same consciousness, it's just a different body. You are one. That took me a fucking long time to figure out. I'm stupid. <laughs> I hope there's a message at the end of this movie because I think I'm missing the point. I'm feeling worse about my body. <laughs> I think I am fully missing the point because um, yes, I do feel horrible about my body just looking at how stunning Margaret Qualley's body is. Yes, it is affecting me deeply. Like leave a comment down below guys if you feel the same way about like looking at stunning bodies sometimes that you just, ha you just can't. <laughs> Sometimes you just can't. I say this about my body as if I didn't have like a, a freaking like spooky pazooki last night from BJ's. Like I, I'm not that worried guys. I'm not that worried. I had a uh, pazooki last night from BJ's. Like I'm okay. Oh. We need to do this like on the bed or something. We can't just have Elizabeth on the floor in the bathroom for a week. And same with Sue. We can't just have them naked on the bathroom floor for a week. Oh my God, I need to see that man that took the substance earlier. Like I need to see him. Like I need to see what he looks like. The substance, without the substance, I need to see him. I need to see him on his seven days off. And a DC, oh, she's my legend. She's my everything. It's, guys, do I look like <laughs> Guys, be honest, do I look like her? Am I serving Sue? Am I serving Sue right now? When an ugly bitch calls you twin. Like, Margaret Quilly's like, don't ever say that again about me. You ugly bitch. What's going on, guys? <laughs> guys, what's going on? Oh my God, it's Katniss Everdeen. Oh my God, it's fucking Katniss Everdeen. I won't be out late. Why does she act so weird when she's in Sue's body? <laughs> like, I get it, like you're feeling yourself, but why are you acting so much weirder in her body? <laughs> Elizabeth, you're, ew, you're with a younger man. Creepy. How old is this guy? Are you all right? <laughs> yes, I'll be right back. You're not gonna be right back. That man is disposable. You can find another one in seven days. <laughs> you find that same man the next seven days. All for some ween. All for some disposable ween. He'll be back in seven days, I promise. You do not need to go to this extent. Random white guy ween. He's still gonna be there. There's gonna be another, you're in Hollywood. You'll find another one. This is ridiculous. What did you do? You seem even more beautiful than before. 
Why does it sound so fake? You seem even more beautiful than before. Okay, nerd. She just pooped out some organs. You're joking. Girl, what the fuck happened? Girl, what the fuck is you talking about? Girl, what the fuck is you talking about? Did she eat him? I hope she ate him. Girl, what the fuck? Oh my God, it's like decaying. The next kind of decision, like, cause she is Sue. Like, she's deciding like, no, I want this, like, I want this ween, I'm gonna keep doing this. And like, I don't think like, a manicure is gonna fix that, sadly. <laughs> Okay, so maybe they're not the same consciousness. Am I confused? Because I thought that was her like living it up. I thought that was her like living out her dreams. But from this, I'm assuming that she does not know what's happening when Sue is in control. <laughs> So then what's the point of the substance if you can't even enjoy being in the body of your like Yasavai version of yourself? Like if you can't enjoy being body as tea version of yourself, then why? That finger is gone. Oh my God, that's the doctor from the, the one that gave her the substance. It's long, isn't it? Excuse me? Seven days. I knew it, I fucking knew it, I knew it! Has she started yet? Eating away at you. And that's the final transformation scene is eating them completely. So you become one again. There's only one way this could be better and that's cannibalism. You're still the most beautiful girl in the whole wide world. <sighs> she shows up and he's like, actually, never mind. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think that guy would care if you had a rotting finger. Right? Like he was all about her. I don't think he would care if you had a rot rotting finger. I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't care if you had a rotting finger. It's okay. It's okay. It is fine. Fred wants you. No, don't second guess it. And don't add that scarf, it looks ugly. <laughs> don't add that scarf, it doesn't match, and it's honestly, makes it look ugly. Uh-oh, uh-oh, no, uh-oh. No, that was like the visualization of like me before I film. At this point, there's not much else I can do. The internet has seen me in many different lights, and it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. No, friend. She's gonna stand him up. Yeah, fell. Like, fell to such an extreme. Like, fell to like almost a debilitating extreme. Oh, that's weird. That like, I don't know. It's so weird to see like such a, like it's so weird to see it visualized so perfectly because it is the, like you want to punch yourself in the face. Cause like, why is not my face not looking the way I want it to? And there's nothing that you can do to change it because if your perspective is skewed, your perspective is skewed. Like if you can't see how great you look, like there's nothing that you can do that's gonna change it. Cut. What was that? What was that? <laughs> Director said he saw something bizarre on the monitor. Bring up the replay on camera too. Oh my God. <laughs> I would die if someone was like, we saw something wrong. We saw something bizarre. It was your ass. <laughs> I would die. I would actually want to die. Like, fuck you. <laughs> like, fuck you. You saw something bizarre. That's just how a butt moves. What the hell is that? Not through the belly button. Do not go through the belly button. You can't go through the belly button. It's a dead end. Everybody knows that a belly button is a dead end. What the fuck is that? Ew! Who put a chicken wing in me? A drumstick? Who put a fucking drumstick in my butt? And not even like uncooked, like cooked. Cooked with skin on. And we want you to host the New Year's Eve show. Oh no, it's gonna fuck up with her schedule. They're like, it's in a week. <laughs> 
So they're not the same conscience because otherwise they wouldn't be operating like that. They're against each other. So she doesn't know what's happening to her body when she overextends her days. Just one more day, okay? Ew. Yeah, I'm gonna inject whatever that is into my body. Yeah, let me just go into the pus wound to get the bone marrow and I will inject that into my body and everything will go really well. Everything will be fine. <laughs> Bro, her, all her fingers are gonna be gone. Oh, her, so that's what the other guy probably did. That's why he probably looks so old. He probably wasn't that old whenever he started the substance, but someone kept overusing their share and now he looks old. <gasps> She's stealing more and more time from me completely without consideration to the consequences. If you are not satisfied, you can put an end to the experience and go back to being just you on your own. Well, that's stupid. If it's not a shared conscious, then it's like, then you don't, what do you gain from having a cloned version of yourself that gets to live life the way they want to live without any consideration or conscious attached to you? Then what's the point in that? That's like, you gain nothing. You just get to be old and decrepit in your house by yourself. And then someone else gets to be, that's the same, that's literally the equivalent of just someone else replacing you on the show before. That's the same equivalent as just another person. That's like complete, like, just because it's taken from your DNA does not mean that it's like somehow like a benefit for you. Like what was so great about it before that, cause there's no conscious tie to it. You know who needs to take the substance, then it's Quaid. What is happening? What does the food have to correlate with the other self? I'm so confused. Full for all that I have. And to always remember. Why are we, why are we beating up the TV when that girl is in the bathroom right now? Let's beat her up. Let's beat her up. She's right there. She's literally right there. We can, we can take some anger out on her right now. Stop it. You're taking it from me. That's your little secret. Stop it. So the only benefit that you get from taking the substance is the knowledge that someone else's beauty came from you. I hate to say it, I really do, but in a sense, we could have just had a child. Control yourself! Oh my God. <laughs> oh. oh, she just did all that mess just to fuck with her. The food has nothing to do with it. She just did that to stuff her face and so that the bone marrow that she's taken from her is nasty <laughs> because bone marrow in the food you eat. Whoever marketed the substance is fucking stupid. And by substance, I mean not the movie, the like substance, the product within the movie. Cause it's like, what the fuck do I gain from someone else being pretty? I don't gain anything. I gain more insecurities, yeah. Come to bed. Who the fuck is that? Yes, I'll be right. Yeah, just don't go into the bathroom in that little secret hideaway door. Surely there's a scent coming from it at this point. <laughs> like, surely the rotting flesh and infected wound is creating a, an odor, if you will. Like that place fucking stinks. Like that literally smells like 10 cans of bounce that ass. Ew, it's brown. Yeah, what did we think was gonna happen to the to the storing bone marrow or whatever she's, the spinal fluid of some sort that she's hoarding? You didn't even refrigerate it? Yeah, I'm so surprised that the fluid or bone marrow is, is going bad after sitting in a dark room. He's like, what the fuck is that? Babe? There's no more babe. There's just the rotting old person. She left. <laughs> Why is the foot so big? Open the door, Sue. Oh my God, she's giving Pearl. <laughs> oh my God, this is foul. And it's not foul because she's old. I want to make that really clear. I don't think that, and, uh, and honestly, I don't think many people would have thought that I just said that because she's old. <laughs> I just had to cover all bases. I just like, this is crazy looking. I wanna stop. We'll deliver. I think the ending is just gonna be like a knife and you just have to kill her. Oh my God. <laughs> oh 
way she's running. I wonder if that was actually Demi Moore or if that was like someone else pulling her. Like, I wonder if Demi Moore had that strength to just like fully yank her through the hallway like that. But what is the experience with the substance? It's just having a baby in a more, in a, in a worse way. It's like a worse, more sacrificial way. Not saying that mothers don't sacrifice for their children, but taking seven days on and seven days off, I would say is a very big sacrifice. You're the only lovable part of me. You have to come back. So the only purpose of it is that it's a part of you? That seems bogus. That seems like a shitty product. <laughs> Just like, oh, I did it. Wait, how are they both awake at the same time? Oh, she only did halfway. Oh my gosh. Damn, how fucking strong is she? She kicked her like she had the strength of a thousand men behind her. The enemy is the inner me. The enemy is the inner me. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, that's so fucked up, bro. Once she's dead, like you don't have a life source anymore. Like you're killing her. You're not gonna be able to live without her. Stupid, you stupid bitch. You just killed your life source. Is this a metaphor for abortion? Why would it be a metaphor for abortion? But it's so weird because she hates her so much, but she's the reason why she's there, which is a metaphor. Damn, what the fuck? And all because she just wanted to terminate you. Oh boy, I wonder why she wanted to terminate you. If you just stuck to the plan, you could have lived a great life. If you stuck to the schedule, this is how important scheduling is. If you stuck to the schedule of your, your days that you were supposed to have, she wouldn't have been freaking out. She would have been living. She would have been like, I have my finger. I look great. I look hot. I look like Demi Moore. Like I, I'm looking great. But you decided to overstay your welcome and make her look, turn into that. So that's why she wanted to kill you. Like, I think that's, and now you're mad. Now you're mad that she wanted to terminate you when you turned her into that. But technically you are her and she turned herself into that. The inner me is the enemy. The enemy within? <laughs> oh my God, the tooth fell out. And teeth are bones, like you can't get that back once it's gone. <sighs> Take care of yourself. <laughs> Sorry, that was mean. But she's mean. Take care of yourself. How do they even film that looks, looks so crazy? More beautiful. Oh my God. Is she gonna inject more of the activator to make another version of herself? You can't do it twice. Cause you don't even have a source to live. Oh, what the fuck? Please don't do anything with her fingernails. Don't stop. Oh, but my, usually things don't bother me that much, but that really fucking, her ear. Like things don't usually bother me like that, but that fucking finger, like the nail. But then you're already in half and then you're splitting into half again. Like now what's gonna happen? Who's gonna come out of you? I like can't right now. <laughs> I, like, I actually fucking can't right now. Like with what I'm seeing, like it is a lot. Cause now you're taking an already watered down DNA and multiplying it again. <laughs> What the fuck? Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> that looks so fucking crazy. <coughs> I'm sorry. Why is it? Why is it? <coughs> I don't know, I think it, ooh. I think it's the, like the slimy and the noise. I know, I'm sorry. Monster Elizu, great, great. Thank you for clarifying what it was.
That was a setup. Now they're going to think that, like, that's Elizabeth. Well, I mean, it is. I mean, I'm catching myself even when I make it commentary. Juno, stop licking yourself. <laughs> Ew, it's breeding new ones. Ew, it's literally birthing out a boob. <laughs> it's literally bur birthing out a, a booby. And it looks like a sack, a sack of booby. It looks so realistic. Juno, stop licking yourself behind me. Oh. I saw that. The monster! Why are they just saying that now? That's like the most delayed reaction I've ever seen in my entire life. You waited for her to birth a booby sack and now you want to be like the monster? I like, guys, I like don't even know what to say. This is absolutely insane. Her arm just flew off and is spraying blood everywhere. What? Nothing to say. I don't even know what to say. Wow. Oh, great call to the shining. What the fuck? And she is reborn out of the ashes uh, or this <laughs> or this little puddle of a person she could be that too not to the fucking star are you kidding me oh um oh I mean, I've watched, I've watched so many movies on here. I've watched a lot of horror movies. I like don't know what to say. Before I try to even compile my thoughts about this movie, nothing that I will say about this movie right now on first watch will truly represent probably my entire opinion on the film because I think I'm going to need to watch this movie a few more times to really get everything because right now, I still have some questions, um, which you guys will probably answer for me. The only question that I have from it is honestly the, the point of view of the substance and really its product within the movie. I said it a bunch of times when I was filming, but like if they are not shared consciousness, then what is the purpose of taking the substance? Because essentially it's just someone that looks beautiful that came from your DNA. You don't experience it. You don't get a first person point of view of living it, of feeling it. You just have to live your life as you would for seven days and then go to sleep while they live their life. And so to me, I thought at the beginning it was a shared consciousness. So you had to go to sleep to experience life in the other form, the other self, and then the matrix would wake back up and be in their self again, but they would be this shared conscious. So I guess that's the only question that I have of really like, not necessarily the purpose of the film, because I think in a film sense, in a storyline sense, it makes sense that you have those opposing forces. It makes, you know, discourse, it makes riffs, it, it raises the stakes of them kind of having Sue believing that she has no consequences to what she does to Elizabeth. But in a term of the product itself, the substance, 
it being sold to Elizabeth doesn't really make sense to me because she doesn't really get to experience that life as Sue in the younger body, right? So I don't understand the purpose of the product in a sense of like <laughs> functionality really and like what you really gain from it. Like it doesn't change the fact that I like it. The only thing is that that's like a question I have of like the like legit, like the like logistics of the product within the movie, but not the execution. I think the execution is phenomenal. The performances are amazing. I love it. I absolutely love the performances and how they will. I, I almost love it even more that they have so little dialogue. Like Sue and Elizabeth have so little dialogue. They rarely talk at all. And still so much was being able to be told throughout the story. And that's how I know it's a good fucking movie because even without them talking that much, I was still entranced. I was still in it. I was still entertained. Amazing. I loved it. This movie was made for me. I would love to watch it again. I would love to know your thoughts on it because I think it's such an interesting concept of this need for beauty and like the consequences of that necessarily. Um, Cause it can go into many different ways. I love a movie that could be interpreted in so many different ways. You can interpret it in a way that revolves around just one industry, like the plastic surgery industry, or you'd go it into the entertainment industry of being an actress eh, when you're younger and then growing up and you know, that kind of effect on things. Like I like that you can kind of apply it to so many different things. Cause even something as unique as Elizabeth being like a superstar and feeling um, feelings of insecurity, ugliness, self-doubt, self-deprecation. That's something that's so universal and seeing her experience those things, even if it's to an extreme, felt so universal through it. And even to the extent of seeing uh, Sue at the end, seeing her also deal with the same things. It's like such universal feelings put in a way that can be interpreted in so many different lights. And there's also, you know, so many other topics that are shown within it, like the male consumption of women, the male disposal of women, like it's, and that's also fed in throughout the story. And I might just be saying words at this point because I'm trying to just to get out my thoughts and tell you guys like everything on my mind. But I like that those themes are fed within it because women's, insecurities and, and and body standards and beauty standards and you know self-doubt and self-deprecation is not this like vacuum of a thing that just happens it's like directly correlated to the male and what their effect on women is and how they basically are feeding this endless machine of perfection you need to be perfection and, and and males are truly the source of it in my opinion as much as you can say like women have the choice nowadays it's like men are still feeding this machine of perfection of what is to be uh, a woman worth being with oh my god i i have so much to say about it i hope you guys like this video i would love to know what you guys think about it because as you know i'm jumping all over the place but five out of five if i was to rate this on letterbox it would be a five out of five you'll probably see me rate it on letterbox five out of five loved it has everything i love from it it's a similar story of like going insane and being obsessed and and losing all control a movie that i would compare it to that gives me the same exact feeling would be the movie raw it's a french film and it's one of my favorite movies it's on my i think it's on my top four on letterbox it's such a good movie but that one's about cannibalism and generational trauma but it still has this similar feeling of like feeding into your indulgences and feeding into this monster of of essentially of a, a sort of sense of greed of wanting more of wanting it all of wanting to be a better version of yourself and reaching this limit of perfection it's like that similar um endless cycle that i i love watching i think it's so addicting in a sense which is so crazy because most stories like this are about some sort of addiction in a sense that's not just a substance and i'm like i'm addicted to those movies but anyways those are my thoughts on the substance please let me know what you guys thought of the substance i'm so excited that i got to watch this with you guys because it's something that i've wanted to watch for so long and i did want to watch it with you guys if you guys want me to watch any more movies leave a comment down below i would love to know what you guys want me to watch uh make sure you guys subscribe so you can see more videos from me and happy halloween i hope you guys have a great halloween and stay safe i will see you guys in my next video bye